I've been needing a pressure washer for a while. Um, unfortunately, like most things on an auction, it probably doesn't work. Uh, today I'm going to look at it, see what's wrong with it, if anything, and try to get it working because I've got some stuff I need to be washed off immediately. I don't know anything about its history. Uh, last time it was run, where it came from, anything like that. It looked relatively clean. It's got a little bit of dust on it now, but that's from sitting in my garage. So, uh, I guess I'll start with checking the oil. It does have oil in it. Fuel tank smells very sweet, very stale. Ooh. There is rust in there. Nope, you can see, I'm not sure if you can, but there is rust. So quite a bit of rust at the bottom of that tank. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to flush that tank out. It's not locked up. That's good. So carburetor is most, mostly empty but smells just like the fuel tank. And we'll test it for spark. Yep, we got spark. Air filter looks okay. I think I want to get the fuel tank off and the carburetor off and we'll clean both of those out. What the heck is this? Alright, so I was unable to get the airbox off or the carburetor off the way it's mounted. It runs into this, oh, this frame right here. So I took three of the bolts that are uh, holding the motor on the frame all loose. That way I can pivot it a little bit and I can pivot it just enough to get this off I think I might have to take this off also so that I can pivot it a little bit farther either that or take the exhaust off yep I'm just going to take the exhaust off This fuel line is looking a little sad and I don't know if I'm going to be able to save it. Alright, 
fuel tanks off. Not much in there. And carburetor's off. Alright, I have a mug. Let's see what we can get out of here. I guess I can. Alright, nothing drains. There's really not much in here. So I think since there's so much rust in the bottom of it and there's a little teeny bit of old fuel that I just can't get out, I think there's a little filter screen on the inside of the tank, on the other side of this bar. I think that's clogged up with rust and gunk. I have some rust dissolver. I'm going to pour it in there, just let that soak for a while, and then work on trying to get as much of the chunks and the actual rust out of there as I can. So I got a lot of those big chunks out. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Now that I got those out, it doesn't look as bad as I thought it was. It's still rusty. So I'm going to use some of this Rust-Oleum Rust Dissolver. I haven't used this before. But I saw this. I saw this in the store when I was at Lowe's. Doing my usual home shopping thing. And I figured that one day I'd have a use for this because I come across rusted tanks a lot. My generator still has a rusted out tank and I still need to fix that. Maybe I should maybe I should see what the instructions say on this, right? Nope. this in that's a that's about what the bottom of the fuel tank looks like Rust and crust. The needle is stuck in the seat. I think, so I feel like I just got done talking about how I had a cheap Harbor Freight ultrasonic cleaner and I wanted to get a, a better one. Well, I was in Harbor Freight today and they now make a bigger, better looking ultrasonic cleaner and I actually bought it. So I guess I can try it out today. 
I'm just gonna throw this whole thing in there like this and see if we can loosen up some of the crud that's on here. All right, so this is the new upgraded Harbor Freight's ultrasonic cleaner. I'm gonna throw this thing in here like that because I can't get anything apart. Hopefully it'll break some of this stuff up. I don't have any, any you know, intense chemicals in here right now which is beneficial since I can't get all this plastic off. See if this works. If not, we'll step it up. Got it on a 30 minute timer. All right, it's been a while since we put this in here. much better a little bit of residual crust in there but mostly it's uh clear and the needle and seat work still a bunch of gunk in there but likely we can spray that out yeah that worked pretty good i think i'm going to go ahead and just run it for another cycle and uh see how much clearer we can get it because this gas tank still needs time to soak to dissolve the rest of that rust so i'm going to run this again Sorry, camera died on me again. Um, so I was able to get some things off this carburetor that I couldn't get off before uh, because it was too gummed up. For instance, I got the main jet out. So it is still clogged, but I was at least able to get it out this time. I pulled that out and put it inside there. We'll let that clean out. Um, also, the main fuel passage. So this is where the fuel comes in to the carburetor is gummed up somewhere inside of here um, and because of this bend I'm not able to stick a pick straight through there I'm gonna put that back in there now that we I have this hose off and I've got um, this little insert out as well I'll shove that stuff back in there run that for another half an hour or so and uh, take a look at the fuel tank all right so we got the fuel tank is uh I poured out the uh, dissolving solution and rinsed it out with water several, like multiple times. And then uh, blowed it all out with air until it got completely dry and got any remaining particles out of there. And it's looking pretty decent. Try my best to show you inside. I just don't know if it's gonna work. Yep, so it's not perfect on the inside, but we got all the you know big chunks of rust out of there, all the surface rust. And I did verify that, uh, I don't know if you can see it, there's a filter in there on the inside where the hose, or where the uh, fuel comes out. I made sure that, that filter is unclogged and it actually drains. So we'll set this aside to reinstall. Took a bit of extra love to get this thing unclogged. It took me quite a while actually. I had to soak this. I had to keep digging at it and soaking this in order to get it clear finally, which it is now. Uh, I think if I had a, like left this sitting overnight in just carb cleaner, or use pure carb cleaner like I normally do, it would be fine. Problem was I couldn't get all this plastic stuff off of here and you really shouldn't. So plastic and rubber and car cleaner, so we had to go about it the long way, but that's okay. It's good now. So I'm going to start putting it back together and then get it back on to the uh, machine and get that gas tank back on also.
All right, it's back together. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook it up to some water. Nice clean concrete. So you think I needed to pressure wash my concrete? It's like night and day. Yeah. So I guess I got a little bit more work to do, huh? <laughs> 